Hi there and welcome back to 355 Code. Uh, today we will be continuing our uh, Blackjack tutorial using JavaScript. Uh, and this is the third installment, so if you haven't seen one and two, I recommend you check out the description below and start from the beginning. Um, if you have already, then you know that we've already uh, created some uh, decks of cards, we've learned how to select a random card, and we've created the function that deals hands to the dealer and the player, uh, which you can see here on the right, including the coloring of the diamonds and hearts and concealing one of the dealer's hands like we would in a regular blackjack game. Uh, and what we're going to be doing today in this video is working on this hit button. Um, and for those of you who don't know, in blackjack hit means add a card. Okay, so the player can look at their hand and they can decide um, if they want to add a card or not. So let's break down this, um, this task and let's think what has to happen. So we're gonna to need to add an event listener uh, to the button and then we're gonna create a function and the first thing that this function needs to do is it needs to, um, to check uh, the value of um, the player's hand, okay? Uh, because if the player, um, if the player has, uh, let's just say, if player has more than 21, okay, then we're bust, okay, then the game is over, okay, so then, uh, and if the player, uh, has less than 21, then they can, uh, choose if they want to hit another card or not. Um, and each time that we put down this new card, we're going to want to tell the player uh, what the value of the hand is. Okay, um, so let's get to work on that. Okay, so let's start off by adding uh, an event listener to our button, and that's the uh, hit button over here. So first I'm going to say hit button dot add event listener. And this is going to be for click. Okay, and then here I'm going to create a function called hit player. Okay, and I'm saying hit player here because we're going to have a separate function that deals with the, um, the, the dealer's hand because that works by a different logic. Okay, and then here I need to just declare that function. So uh, hit player. And let's get down to what happens uh, inside this function. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to select a random card. Okay, so um, if you remember here, we have our function select random card. So let's just say that new card equals select random card. Okay, and then what do we want to do with this card? So we want to, first of all, we want to add it to the array, which is the player's hand. Okay, uh, but here the player's hand is actually only, uh, it's a, uh, it's not a global uh, variable, it's only located within this deal hands function. Okay, so in order to change that, I'm actually going to declare the dealer hand as an empty array and the player hand as an empty array up here. Uh, that way they're kind of kind of global uh, states, if you want to call it that way. And what we're going to do is here, instead of const, this will just be updating uh, the player hand. It won't actually be, um, we won't be declaring it there. I'm just going to format our document. Excellent. So what we want to do is we want to um, push this new card into the dealer hand. So that's, uh, into the player's hand, sorry. So player hand dot push new card. Okay, but at the moment this doesn't really do anything for us. Um, and we can console.log uh, player hand. Okay, so let's just see that everything's working and that our event listener is set up uh, as it should be. So I'm going to run this code, save, um, and let's click the hit button. And we can see here that now our player hand has three cards. But we haven't visually added the third card to uh, our um, to our web page yet. So what we're going to do is we need to uh, create a new card model. 
So uh, we can say that um, new card uh, node, let's call it, and this will be equal to um, uh, let's uh, what's it called up here? Uh, card model dot clone node true. And then we're going to say that new card node dot inner HTML. This is just what we did uh, for the player hand and the dealer hand. That's why I'm kind of uh, breezing through it. And again, if you didn't see those videos, then I do recommend that you check them out. It is going to be equal to that new card. Okay, and then um, <coughs> and then after we add that new card, we are just going to, we, we created that new card element. We're just going to want to append that to the player's hand. So append uh, new card node. Okay, and now uh, if we save and run the code again, you can see that when we hit, a new card is added. To, um, to the hand. But let's see, in this case, so we had 10, 10, right? King, king is 10 and 10, and then we added six. So this hand is bust. That means the player has just lost the game. Uh, so what we're gonna wanna do in this situation is we are going to want to, um, to give some kind of alert that the player lost. Um, and in the future, we'll design it so that the game restarts at this point. But for now, we just want to alert the player, your hand is bust, okay? So we're going to need another function that kind of determines what the value of each hand is, okay? So let's uh, have a new function that calculates the value, okay? And this will take a hand, okay, as a uh, parameter. And basically now, when given this hand, we need to figure out what the value is. So let's just say const value, okay? And that's going to start off as zero. And then um, after that, we're going to loop through our hand, okay? So hand dot for each and for each card. What we're going to do is we're going to try and get the value uh, out of this card. So here, we're going to encounter the same issue that we encountered with the 10 again. Because uh, if we just say, okay, the value of each card is equal to the first um, the first uh, character in the string, then, okay, for here it'll work 6, but here for king that won't work. Uh, and for 10 it won't work, okay? So what we need to do is we need to separate this into several situations, okay? So if... Okay, if uh, card dot length is equal to uh, two. Okay, so that's the situation like this that it's not ten. Okay, then we're gonna we're gonna want to do is um, we're gonna have another condition. Okay, so if the um, if card zero, okay, is uh, equal to king, or if card zero is equal to queen, or if card zero is equal to Jack. Okay, so in any one of these situations, then we are going to add, um, we're going to say value plus equals 10. Okay, uh, and this is just a quick way of writing the if statement, uh, just one after the other. And in any other situation, Okay, so actually we can write this as, as just like a ternary uh, condition, so we'll do it like this, okay? Like we did before, and then question mark, okay? And uh, in any other situation, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, value 
plus equals, and here we're going to just use the number, right? So we could just write card zero, but the problem is that this is going to return a string. Okay, so we want to make sure that we're returning a number here. Okay, and if we wrap it like that, that should return a number. Um, okay, so this is not ideal because it's like a little lengthy. Um, and we could clean this up a bit later, but for now, let's just get it working. Uh, and then we'll see if we can improve on this code later on. And um, in the other situation where basically if the card length is not 2, which would be 3, which is a 10, then we can also just say value plus equals 10. Okay. Um, and then uh, what we can do here at the end is just return return value. Okay, so let's save that and let's try that code out. So what I'm going to do here is under hit player, uh, I'm also going to console.log uh, calc value for player hand. Okay, and let's see if that returns us the value that we want. Okay, so now we have uh, king six and then I hit assignment to const variable. So here value needs to be let. Okay, save and run. Try that one more time. And 16, right? Jack plus 3, 3 is 16. Hit again. And now it is 20. Okay, hit again. And we keep on going up and up and up. But we don't want to do that, right? Because we don't want to let them hit anymore after they've reached past 21. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to say, um, okay, hand value is going to be equal to uh, calc value for player hand and then we're going to have our conditions so if uh, hand value if hand value is bigger than uh, 21 then console dot log uh, let's say bust okay your hand is bust Okay, and if, um, yeah, so that's pretty much the situation that we want to uh, tell them that they're bust. And in that case, um, what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, for now, let's, for now, let's leave it at that. Okay, uh, later on, we'll deal with how to send the notifications and stuff like that. Um, we can also add an alert, let's say, so let's say alert bust. Okay, that way they'll also know that they're bust. Okay, so let's try running that code. Okay, I hit. Okay, I'm still good. And I hit again, bust. Okay. Um, right, so you see the game is over that I'm bust. Uh, we didn't really end the game, but for all sakes and purposes, we, we conveyed the fact that the player's hand is bust. Um, so that is how we uh, hit for the player, okay? And now we have another button, which is pass, okay? And this button is which is going to tell us, okay, the player no longer wants to play anymore. We should hit the dealer, okay? And that is what we're going to deal with in the next video in this series. Uh, so if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time when we learn about how to uh, give more cards to the dealer.